my secret ingredient, sodium pentothal, coma in half a minute. Pancuronium stops her breathing and then... Peace. You finally brought me... The perfect pie. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a crack at the perfect key lime pie from Dexter, a pie for which we're going to need a cocktail of euthanizing chemicals and some key limes, both pretty hard to get a hold of. Much like true champagne has to originate in Champagne, France, true key limes must be grown in the Florida Keys. Most of the key limes you find at the grocery store are going to be imported and are apparently significantly more bitter than the genuine article, but I don't know, tastes like lime to me. Just make sure if you use conventional limes to add a little bit of lime oil, and if you're using key limes to buy a whole lot. Because to make a single key lime pie, we must yield two thirds of a cup of key lime juice, which could take anywhere from 15 to 30 key limes. Once you've got all your juice, uh, juiced, go ahead and set that aside because first things first, we gotta make us a graham cracker crust. If you wanna make your own graham crackers from scratch, check out the link in the upper right hand corner right now. But honestly, I really don't think you're gonna taste the difference. Both homemade and store bought graham crackers are plenty bland. Either way, we're placing them in a, oh my God, I did not know that food processors could do that. Make sure your food processor is off before securing the lid. And we're processing about one and a half packs worth of graham crackers to a fine graham cracker dust. Then once done and dusted, we're gonna measure out about 200 grams worth, to which we're going to add about 40 grams of powdered sugar, or you can use regular sugar, just make sure to measure out the same amount, and a big old pinch of kosher salt before tiny whisking until thoroughly combined, making sure to crush any bits of powdered sugar. Then we're adding 100 grams of melted unsalted butter to the party. We're gently mixing this together using a spatula fingy combo until the graham cracker crumbs are evenly saturated and they keep their shape when pressed together but are still crumbly like wet sand. This means that they're ready to dump into an unprepared pie plate where we're gonna gently press them into all the corners, press them up the sides of the plate using our fingers and maybe a nice flat bottomed ramekin to make sure that everything is smooth and even and compacted. Then this guy's headed into a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes before being removed to cool completely on a wire rack. Just enough time to make our key lime curd in this technique courtesy of King Arthur Flour. Into the bowl of a stand mixer goes three egg yolks separated from their whites, the zest of one large lime or three key limes. This is optional, but it's gonna amplify the lime flavor without adding any extra bitterness. Then we are affixing wire whisks and beating the egg yolks until, oh, you gotta plug in the machine, stupid. Beating the egg yolks for about three minutes on high speed. During this time, they're gonna slightly increase in volume and become nice and thick and ribbony like a hollandaise. Next up, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. This is where both the sweetness and uh, milkiness of this recipe is gonna come from. We're beating this together with the egg yolks, this time with the paddle attachment on medium high speed for about five minutes until it's light and pale and slightly thickened. Now last but decidedly not least are two thirds of a cup of key lime juice, which we're gonna add while the mixer is running on low and mix until just combined. The acid from the limes should slightly thicken the mixture. Give it a couple folds to make sure that everybody's gotten to know everybody. Cover with plastic wrap and let rest at room temperature for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later and it looks exactly the same. But during this time, it should have gotten a little thicker and our graham cracker crust should be cooled completely. So we're gonna pour the filling into the prepared crust. Don't worry if it looks a little low, it's going to expand slightly in the oven. Give it a little wiggle to make sure that it's evenly dispersed and pop it back into a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes until set around the edges and registering 145 degrees in the center. Don't stress too much about your temperature hole, you can cover that up once this guy has cooled completely at room temp for about two hours. Hours. Then to really drive home the cooling concept, we are wrapping in plastic wrap and popping in the fridge for at least four hours, ideally overnight. The pie in Dexter was festooned with a decorative piped whipped cream topping. So we're gonna mix together a pint of heavy cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and a dash of vanilla extract and beat until stiff peaks have been achieved. Dump it into a pastry bag with a fluted tip and begin trying and failing miserably to recreate the pattern seen on the show. I am really bad at decorating things. I like to think it's part of my charm. Then annoyingly, we are also garnishing with slices of key lime, which I hate because you can't really eat it. And then the savior of bad decorations everywhere, a generous zesting of key lime zest, which will instantly improve your shoddy piping. All there is to do now is cut yourself a generous slice of the perfect key lime pie. Oh, that doesn't look terribly perfect, does it? Nothing a little food styling won't fix. Smooth out the edges, cut off any crumbs, polish the cut side, and look at that. Now that's the perfect key lime pie. All this needs now is a whisper of sodium pencil 
lysithol and pancuronium. Again, I'm terrible with pies, but I'm guessing no more than five or 10 mil. And let's dig in. And I gotta say, this is the perfect key lime pie once you get rid of the stupid lime slice. It is sweet, tart, crunchy, and smooth. And a definitive member of the clean play, um, clean play, um, I'm gonna take a nap real quick. 